Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Hi there, boys and girls. Today I'm going to tell you about an adventure that wasn't a bit like anything we'd ever been up against before. Just before I started to talk, you heard a certain noise. And I'm pretty sure you recognized it as the crack and whine of a rifle. But this was a very special rifle, one with great power. This kind of rifle is called an express rifle, probably because it shoots bullets so very fast. Well, anyway, all of us, but especially Henry... We'll never forget that particular rifle. We'll find out why in the story I call The Secret of Seal Island. Hmm. Bill looks sad. Bill is sad, Ray. Well, I don't like the idea of having to type out these long reports. I'm an outdoor man anyway. Signs I'm not much of a typist. <laughs> and yet, all of that wouldn't matter if it wasn't that these are such unhappy reports. Yeah, same old thing. Yeah, same old thing. That poacher. We catch him someday. But when? Half my men are on the trail. You've been out, I've been out, but we never even see him. He hard to find, that for sure. I've got plaster casts of his tracks, photographs of his tracks. I know those boot marks perfectly. But I've never seen his face. He bad man. Shoot more game? Yeah. No, he's unbelievable. My men found three more grizzly carcasses today. Three in one day. How you know for sure this man kill all this game? His tracks. Plus the fact that he's an excellent shot. Yeah, game poacher, no good. He's been shooting stuff out of season, anything he wants, whenever he wants it. Take hide and sell, huh? Oh, sure. He's a fur hunter, all right. There's always a good market for bear skins, even though the animals are shot illegally. Poacher, very bad man. Kill game out of season. Kill any game he wants. Same as stealing. Yeah. What gets me is that we don't even know who this man is. Indian have a name for a man like that. Hmm? Man who kill game all time, all time, kill, kill, What's kill. What's that? You know, Luke Garo. Wolverine. Oh, yeah, sure. sure. Wolverine, Wolverine, only animal in the world who kill just for sake of killing. Wolverine, very fierce, smart. Nobody ever see. Hard to catch. Meantime, he kill animal all time. That certainly is a good description of our poacher. Uh, well, at least we have a name for him now, Grey Wolf. We'll call him the Wolverine. <clears throat> Not far to the top of the rim rock. <clears throat> no, we keep heads down. Yeah, I know. And when we get to the edge, we can see the whole valley spread out before us like a map. Yeah. See? Bill, see a little pile of rocks there? Mm hmm. At edge. We go there, look through binocular. Not have to stick our heads up over top of the skyline. Good. Yeah. You see anything, Bill? No, not yet. I'll quarter the whole valley. You think the Wolverine is up here? And tracks go in, not come out. Well, I certainly hope... Grey Wolf! You see? Yeah. Here, here, take the binoculars. Over there on the far edge by that <sighs> chimney butte. <sighs> Big man. Hmm? Big black beard. That him all right. But how can we be sure it's the Wolverine? Here, you take a look. You see a pack of furs on ground beside him. Mm? Maybe two, maybe three bear hides. Oh, yeah. Nobody else have hides this time of year. Of course. Well, now that we've seen him, how do we get him? We go back down, back in the valley. And circle way, way round, long way. Walk quiet. Come up behind Wolverine. Catch him. But it'll take us most of the day, Grey. Yeah, he'd be there. He'd wait there. Watch for a game. We catch him. Come on. Here we are. Yeah. 
When we saw him, he was just on the other side of this little chimney rock. And here's what we'll do. When I give the signal, you run around that side, I'll run around this side. That way, we'll come on in from two sides at once. You ready? I'm ready. All right. When I count three. One, two, three. Nobody here, Bill. So I see. So I see. A piece of paper stuck in Cliff's neck. Mm-hmm. That's a note. For us. He left it here for us. Well, what note say, Bill? Dear Ranger Bill, you're supposed to be a woodsman, but I guess you <laughs> forgot that if you're facing into the sun, then the sun glints on the glasses in your binoculars. Uh. I saw you before you saw me. Too bad all that long walk for nothing. You'll never catch me. Signed, uh, Wolverine. The Wolverine. Summertime. <laughs> Why on earth do you play that <laughs> tune? All you do is complain about the heat. Yeah, it kind of takes my mind off of my suffering. Hey, uh, just fling a few more of them ice cubes into this here lemonade here, will you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> here you are. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I done made up a tune all about how miserable I feel when she's as hot as this. Okay. Let's hear it. Hot weather affect you that way? Terrible. Yep. Uh, Please give me some more of them ice cubes. Not many left in the bucket. Here you are. Uh, Thank you. You Now, I done read another tune, only this one is about how good I feel when she's nice and cold. Go ahead. (laughs) Uh, The name of that there one is... uh, Hooray for winter and snow and frosty weather, cause the horse knows the way and he'll pull the sleigh and please pass the ice cubes. <laughs> Is that part of the title? I, I mean, about the ice cubes, I mean? Ah, sure. <laughs> cool Stumpy, number, huh? there just aren't any more. They're all gone. None of the refridge either. You used them all up. Oh, me, in hot weather like this, I never can get enough ice cubes. I wish I was sitting right on an iceberg. That's what I wish. Oh, what a thing to say. Why, none of us will ever see an iceberg. Yeah, 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 what a life. A hundred in the shade and no ice cubes. Gray Wolf, do you get seasick? Oh, well, that bill... Oh, you feel okay? <laughs> sure. Uh, Henry, how about you? Do you get seasick? <laughs> I don't even know. I've never been on the sea to find out. Same here, but why the I'll question? I'll explain, and it's a mighty, mighty strange story, too. It's in three parts, really. Part one is, do you remember how we hunted for months and months for that game poacher we called the yeah. Wolverine? Uh-huh. Yeah, we never caught him. Sure. We haven't had any poaching for a long time now, so well, we just figured that you and Grey Wolf had at least scared him out of the country. Exactly. You've happened to hit the nail right on the head. The Wolverine is out of this territory. Oh, good. But he's still up to his old tricks, poaching. And that's part two. I have here on my desk a long, detailed report from Washington and from the Alaskan Game and Fisheries Commission. It appears that somebody has developed a new and fiendish method of shooting the fur seals up in those Arctic waters. Well, that's against international law. And who evidently has a sloop or small vessel with a supercharged engine, has been shooting the rare fur seal, probably from a long distance away, from his boat, no doubt, so as not to startle the herd, and then skinning them and, we suppose, selling the hides. What a wicked thing. Well, why don't they catch him? They've never even seen him. They do have the plaster casts of his boot tracks and microphotographs of the bullets he's used. Washington compared the Alaskan report with mine. I get it. Yeah, the plaster casts of the footprints and the microphotographs of the bullets, they match. Mm Mm-hmm. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. It's our old enemy, the same man doing his poaching now in Alaskan waters. Wolverine. I think so all the time. But what this got to do with us, Bill? Well, this is part three. 
And it sure sounds strange on a blazing hot summer day like this. <laughs> Gray Wolf, you and I are the only men who have ever actually seen this wolverine. So Washington wants us to go along on the expedition that's being fitted out to capture him. We can identify him positively. <laughs> the Arctic! Mm-hmm. And uh, since it's summer and you have no school... Hey, you're going to take me along! Yep. Yeah. Stumpy can hold down the fort here. Uh -oh. Since we are going right up into the Arctic Ocean, enjoy this hot weather while you can. We're going to where it's mighty, mighty cold. <laughs> Uh, it's getting colder by the minute. The more we get, the colder it'll get. Captain Stormweather, uh, are we in the first seal waters? Ah, uh, two, three more days, boy. An old time sailing vessel like this one don't go as fast as in modern ships. Oh, I like this kind better, though. But the, how do we know when we're in the first seal waters? <laughs> Still worrying, huh? Well, first we sight a seal or maybe a couple, just little brown heads bobbing in the waves. Then we'll keep sighting more and more until finally we get to the islands. The islands? Yeah, seal islands, we call them. Just rocks sticking up out of these here icy seas. The seals like them. They gather there by the hundreds. Thousands, if it happens to be a big enough island. Uh, mostly they're harmless critters and easy to shoot. That's why it's, again, international law to shoot them. And a man shooting at them from a long ways off can just about as many, shoot about as many as he likes without the seals catching up on as to what's going on. That makes it crueler. Oh, look ahead, boy. Kind of nor by nor'east. Uh, I can see something, Captain Stormweather. Uh, is it an island, a seal island, covered with snow? Nope, that ain't no island, boy. That there is an iceberg, and a big one, too. That old berg there means we're getting up into the northern seas, up into the land of ice and snow. Sure is big. Yeah, plenty big. They come bigger than that sometimes. You know much about him? Uh, iceberg? Whoa, we learned in school that the part you see, above the waterline, I mean, that's only a tiny part of the iceberg. Right. One-eighth of the iceberg sticks out of the water. And the other eight, seven-eighths is under the water. Oh, that's why they're so dangerous, isn't it? Well, your ship could hit the underwater part of an iceberg, even though you thought you were far enough away to pass by it. Yeah, we'll just circle around this and give it a wide berth. Oh... Uh, uh, Captain, what happens to icebergs? Oh, when they get down into warmer waters, they just melt away, boy, just melt away. If they get into regular steamer lanes, the government sends out warnings. What's that? The iceberg. You watch. Split practically right in half. There are two icebergs there now. Yeah, right. That's called calving. It's a pretty sight to see, but we're lucky we weren't Captain any Stormwell. closer. Captain Stormwell, over there on the right. Captain Stormwell, I see it. I see it plain as day. Yeah, and so do I, boy. But it ain't over to the right. It's over to the stabbard. But I will say you got mighty sharp eyes for a landlubber, and you spotted it first. And that means we're getting there. That little head of bobbing along the water. That's a fur seal. Islands all around us now. Yeah, we passed quite a few of those bare rocks you call islands. We haven't seen any seals. Just a few of them in the water. Ah, uh, there'll be plenty as soon as we get further up. We may not have to go as far as you think. See that little island off there to uh, starboard, uh, Captain Stormweather? Yeah, uh, let me see. Let me focus my spyglass here. Those uh, tiny dots, are they seals? Yeah, and what's more? And what's more, they ain't moving. They ain't moving a mite. And that ain't good. You hands, get busy on them davits. Stand by to lower the stabber long boats. We're going over there. Well, there they are. All dead. All shot from a great way off, looks like. And the pelts have been taken off slick as a whistle. What do you got to say, Bill? Three nations have signed a solemn pact to prevent this vicious, wanton, illegal poaching. I know. But who done it? Lick of tracks in snow. I know those tracks anywhere. 
to Indian footprints, same as photograph. Those footprints belong only one man. But who? Bad man. Man we call Wolverine. Yeah. Shooting and skinning fur seals is against the law. Sometimes certain restricted permits are issued, but we know that this fellow has none. What? What are we going to do now, Bill? Henry, we followed this man all the way to the Arctic. We know now what he's up here for. Maybe a long and a difficult pursuit, but we'll catch him. No sign of him, Captain? Nary a sign. We've been tacking back and forth in these waters for ten days now. Yeah, I know. Uh, we're about as far north as we can go. Pretty soon we're going to have to turn around and then... Oh, man, that's a storm coming up. Batten down those hatches, men. Make everything ship shape. We're in for a blow. Hang on to that railing, Bill. She's getting rough. Well, I'll say it is. Captain, do you think... Shorten you think sail it... there. This looks like a humdinger. Mm, hey, we'd better... Hey, uh, Captain Stormwind, look. Hi, uh, I'm looking. Right where you're looking. And I see the same thing you see. A sloop riding with bare sticks. A rig like that couldn't carry a square inch of canvas in this wind. A long, lean ship, painted black. She's trying to use her engines. See that propeller wash under her stern? She's turning, turning away. Certain. She's seen us and she's trying to get away. Well, that must mean... Of course that's what it means. That their auxiliary sloop is the ship we're after. Otherwise, she wouldn't be trying to buck the stern and get away from us. That's the Wolverine ship, for certain. But what can we do, Captain We can Stormwater? catch her, that's what. But she has a powerful motor. This is just a sailing vessel. All the better. These waves make a motor useless. See how the propeller lifts right out of the water? Bill, you'll see all a sailing, sailing vessel can save the day. This wind is their enemy, but our best friend. Throw on more canvas there. We're chasing the Wolverine. What are we going to do? What matter, Henry? Well, this fog. You can't see ten feet ahead. I'm afraid the Wolverine's ship will escape. And don't forget, they can't see either. They have to stop and go slow, same as us. Huh? I suppose. Bill says we've been chasing that black sloop for 36 hours now. Day and night, but of course the sun really never sets. Yeah, day mighty long. Well, it's been our turn on watch for a long time, it seems. Yeah, hard to watch with nothing to see but fog. Well, I hope that other boat doesn't get away. Everybody hopes same thing, Henry. Yeah, let's try, no, but... Hey, Grey Wolf, did you notice anything unusual? No, no. Something, something seems different somehow. Oh, Grey Wolf, I know what it is. Hmm? The fog, it's lifting, see? Hey, it's getting clearer right, by Henry. the minute. We keep sharp lookout now. Maybe see Black Sloop. Right. If you take the leeward side, I'll take the starboard. Right. Just like the captain told us to. <laughs> fog must have gone. Blow away quick. Hey, funny, these, these waves weren't so high. Oh, oh. Hey, oh, what's that silly... Gray Wolf, the slope! The black slope! Right you are, boy. Only about a quarter mile away. Both of us had to just ride afore the wind during that fog. Now that she's lifted, lo and behold, we're ending up closer to the black sloop than ever before. Hard a helm and give chase! We're catching them! Right! And it looks by the time we catch up to him, we'll be right in the lee of that monstrous iceberg up ahead. Iceberg? And that'll be a help on account of it'll break the force of the wind. Yeah, that's the, that's the biggest one I've seen yet. Yep. They don't never come much bigger than that one, boy. That's because we're so far north. It ain't hard had time to break up none. Why, it sure is brick. Biggest I ever see, too, come to think of it. Now, what do you suppose is the matter with them fellers in that sloop? Huh? What do you mean? Why, they must be plumb crazy. They're near enough to that berg they ought to be veering, but instead... They're steering straight for it. Maybe a rudder broke. Oh, uh, she'd yaw if that happened. Nope. They're steering her straight toward that iceberg. Oh, wonderful. They're up to some sort of trick, I think. Certain. But what it is, I can't figure. Not for the life of me. My stars are going to make a landing. Right on that iceberg. That's right. But what for? They can't escape away from us that way. Besides, nobody can live on an iceberg. Not for long, anyway. A little boat right up by iceberg now. She's shallow draft. Well, look at that. Somebody's getting out. Somebody's being made to get out, Henry. See those rifles? Those men in the boat are pointing at the man who just jumped out of that iceberg. Uh, I can just about see. Still pretty far away. This is incredible. 
Watch the sloop, Captain Stormweather. Yeah. She's doing just about what you and me had figured she'd do, Bill. Uh-huh. There she goes, backing away and turning and heading out to open what? sea. But they left that man alone on the iceberg. Right. And if you take a good close look at him with a spyglass, I'll guarantee it'll be the Wolverine. Why? Why? They've marooned him, Henry. Those men and his crew have figured he was too dangerous to be with. So they put him off in that iceberg, marooned him. What about the sloop, Bill? I'll let it go. We can arrange to get it later. Right now, we're going to follow our original plan. We're going to go and capture the Wolverine. Man, not stay still. He'd take off back through those ice hills. Very bad man. Can't give up yet. We'll find him once we set foot on the iceberg. Yeah, we'd better hurry. We are hurrying, Grey Wolf. Sure, we'd better make more hurry. Man not alone on iceberg. What? But... An Indian sees more than we can, Henry. Never see before, but see now. You look over biggest ice hill. Great white bear. I see it. A polar bear. And a giant one. That poacher has done been marooned on an iceberg with a polar bear. No sign of the wolverine or the polar bear. Ah, uh, neither one of them can be very far away. This is a big berg that we could walk clear around it in 10, 15 minutes. Well, I'm sure glad we got these ice shoes on with a spike. Gotta have them, boy. Now then, let's spread out. Keep about 40, 50 feet apart. Grey Wolf, uh, you go over to port there. Right. And I'll take the next position. Then you, Bill. Right. And you, boy, take the other end. Okay. Now then, we'll keep in sight. Watch where you put your feet. Get a good grip before you take the step and go slow. And above all, don't do no hollering. But that man knows we're here. Sure he does. Sonny, icebergs is funny. A loud sudden noise might start one to cracking. We don't want this thing to bust apart while we're on it. Oh. Well, you don't have to whisper. And if and you do call, call easy like. We understand. Let's take our positions and go forward now slowly. Sooner or later, we'll see the poacher. What do we do then, Bill? I'm counting on him giving up, surrendering, when he sees that we mean business. He lifts his rifle to fire at us. You shoot. Shoot it right out of his hand, Grey Wolf. I will. The captain say big noise might split iceberg. That's a chance we'll have to take. And the polar bear? Oh, he's probably dived into the water, swung away by now. What if he hasn't? That's another chance we have to take. Everybody ready? like this. Wolverine, plenty of bad man. Poacher no good than ever. Wish we'd see him pretty soon. I not like this iceberg. Yeah, I wish that fella'd show up. Or the bear. Him or the bear both. He must be laying low somewhere. He's probably watching us. Can't say I relish this expedition no how. I thought surely we'd see him before this. Almost across the iceberg. Must be hiding behind an ice hill, waiting for us. And Henry, I wish he'd stay closer. Wow, it sure is cold. It's lonely. Bill says I should keep eating closer, but this ice hill's getting away. It does seem I'm getting farther away. There he is. Where? Over there, to the right. Over behind that ice hummock. Over by Henry. Henry, watch out! That's him, all right. Black beard and all. Now that he sees us, he's standing up. Man, have rifle, Bill. I wait for your orders. You say fire. I ready. Good. No! I think the bear, the polar bear. He's right behind Henry and coming fast. Can the boy shoot? Yeah, sure. But look, look, his rifle's jammed. Must be froze tight. Oh! Hey, Wolf, you're the best shot. Get that bear. I can't shoot from here. Henry, between us and bear. If I shoot now, I hit Henry. Henry, run. Run to the side. Henry. Henry, slip and fall. Bear coming fast. Shoot, Grey Wolf. Henry's still in line of bullet. <laughs> that stopped the bear. He's down for good. Grey Wolf, how can I ever thank you for... I not shoot Bear. I not dare shoot. Huh? Get Henry. Other man shoot Bear. Save Henry's life. Other man? 
Why, 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 then it must have been the... She's gone. She's cracking. That shot done at this here iceberg is cracking in two. What do we do now? Hang on and pray. Gray Wolf? Here, Bill. Captain Stormweather. <laughs> All shook up, but still ship shape. Henry! Henry! Take a gander over yonder. This old iceberg gun split right spang in two. And over yonder's the other half. And there sitting on it is Henry and that butcher. Oh, no. Like to me. The Lord, make everything all right. Like to me, like Wolverine binding up Henry's leg. Taking good care of him. It's a miracle. The dinghy's still there. Let's get her into and row over there. Fast as we can roll. Come on. And so when I saw that polar bear coming for me, boy, I was scared. When I found my rifle was jammed, and then I fell and sprained my ankle. Boy, then I was really scared. I tell you, Bill, I never prayed so hard in all my life. And your prayers were answered, Henry. And you, Wolverine, I don't know your real name. How was it you decided to fire at the bear instead of us? You saved Henry's life. Yeah, I've done plenty of bad things in my life. I ain't no ornament to society. But I can't stand still and see a young boy clawed up by a bear. Well, we're grateful. You know that. Plenty of grateful. He fixed my leg and everything. Uh, I ain't looking for no thanks, no favors. I done wrong and I know it. I'm ready for my punishment. But I done found out one thing. Found it out in spite of myself, you might say. And what then? Like you say, I had the choice of shooting you or the bear. While I was standing there in them few seconds, something come over me. Like a voice saying to do the good thing. Shoot the bear. Now, can you understand a thing like that? Yes. Yes, I can. And on the long voyage home, I think we can explain a few things to you. So that you'll understand, too. I'm ready to listen. Henry, what on earth are you doing? I'm getting some ice to take back to Stumpy. He always needs ice for his lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week for more adventure with Ranger Bill!